It's quiz time, quiz time, quiz time, quiz time. All right, we're back with quiz time. Question number one. What is the study of beer called? Is it A, rulology? Or will B, zythology? Or will C, merpology? My apology? Kind of. <laughs> <laughs> and the answer is B, zythology. So zythos is Greek for beer, and then ology, study of. So zythology is the study of the ingredients that go into the process and how they interact with each other to give you the beer. Um, and what effects do they, those certain ingredients have on the brewing process? That's so cool. that's zythology with a Z. Not if, I ever, if I ever get it like a dog, I'm going to name him Zythos. Zythos. Sweet. That is just a very strong name. <laughs> this is I a strong like name. <laughs> Zythos, come get me a beer. <laughs> <laughs> you mangy mutt. <laughs> All right, question number two. What country drinks the most beer per capita? Like per person, yeah, per yeah, population. Yeah. Is it A, Germany? <laughs> Is it B, Nigeria? Is it C, Ireland? I'm gonna go Germany. Not yet. Or is oh. it D, Czech Republic? Oh, oh, <laughs> oh, oh, oh. Well, what well. country per capita? I know some of the oldest breweries are in the Czech Republic. I'm gonna go check. And the answer is, Czech Republic. My maiden so, name is Prochaska, and my grandfather is Czech. Well, there you go. That's why she <laughs> likes the Debruskes. I'm going double. Oh, okay. <laughs> I can't decide which one I want to drink next. So Czech Republic, they drink 148 liters per person per year. Is this so that's uh, women and children? Yeah, or I got you know whatever. <laughs> if you're if you're tall enough to get up on the table, then you're tall enough for a beer. I don't know what the um, what the age is. It's either 16 or 18 over there. Most of Europe is 18. So. Is it? Yep. Um, as a fact, China drinks the most at one and a half billion bottles. Billion bottles per year. Well, they, you figure they've but got the most a billion people. Are they the most populated, or is India the most populated? I th I don't know. I think it's pretty close. Yeah. But you figure so that's like you know one a day <laughs> for everybody. I mean, if the water's bad, you know, yeah, that's you gotta right. hydrate somehow. That's right. Oh, oh. Dinch, 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 dinch. Grab them up. Oh crap! I <laughs> <laughs> I have too many notes here, damn it. Who had the shot of bourbon? God, I know. I need some. Let's go. Okay, question number four. Until 1970, so close to when, you know, you're still, what, an 80 girl, 80 something. Closer to my age, okay? Until 1970, table beer, which was 3% or less alcohol, was served in which setting? A. School cafeterias. <laughs> B. Libraries. C. The. Yeah. C. The B and O. Or D. Subways. Until 1970, where did they do table beer? What was the first one? School cafeterias. I'm gonna go with that. And the answer is. You're right. <laughs> I couldn't find any other facts on it, but I guess that's what they did. So when I started, when I started at the University of Akron, there was um, in the student union there was a restaurant called the Chuckery, and um, they served beer there. I mean, the law obviously had changed at some point from the three. Yeah. You could drink the three-two beer if you were nineteen or eighteen 19? or nineteen years old. Yeah, I don't even if remember. If you were born before a certain date, I was drinking it all. So who knows? But you could legally drink under the, like from, I think it was, I can't remember if you had to be 18 or 19, but mm. you could drink the 3-2 beer, the little lower alcohol content beer, and they served, yeah. served beer in the student union when I first started college. Well, apparently school cafeterias until 1970. Hey, yeah. Then they thought, I wonder why 
People weren't learning how to read, or they were going home early, or whatever. Oh, it's 3% alcohol. They're fine. Yeah, that's right. They're fine. All right, next up, beer cocktails. Stay with us. 